A man with a pipe bomb led deputies on a wild chase in Grays Harbor County that ended in the Wainuchi River. Camera 7 South Sound reporter Shelby Miller is live now in Montesano with video that appears to show that suspect trying to get away. Shelby? Yeah, and deputies tell me he went to great lengths to try to escape. He ran from that home, then he trekked through the mud here, climbed through the brush, and jumped into the icy cold river. But deputies say he was no match for K9 Max. This slow motion surveillance video captures the moments a Montesano man tries sneaking away from deputies who were hot on his heels. He was just walking nonchalantly, just trying to just be like, I'm not here. Yeah. <laughs> and away he went. The Grays Harbor County Sheriff's Office says a 32 year old man broke into a for sale home on County Farm Road Saturday. The owner wasn't there when it happened. She told me off camera that a real estate agent found the suspect inside her home. He'd filled backpacks with her belongings, then took off. When he realized he'd been caught red handed. We usually don't have a whole lot of problems, but you know, it's getting bad and people are just getting worse. Adam Vesey owns this truck shop down the street. He spotted the suspect on his surveillance camera, donning all black and carrying a big backpack. He pointed deputies in the right direction. Vesey says the man snuck on his property, skirted the fence, ran down the railroad tracks, climbed through the brush, then jumped right into the Wainuchi River. So Department of Fish and Wildlife officers launched their boat into the water. K-9 Max spotted the suspect in the river. Deputies say the man pointed a gun at K-9 Max. Then deputies took him into custody. They searched his backpack, and inside, they found a live homemade pipe bomb. That's not the first time cops have been here, so um, no biggie. Just another day in the neighborhood. The suspect was pulled from the river and he was taken to the Grays Harbor County Jail. And I'm told by the sheriff's office he is supposed to be in court tomorrow. Reporting live in Montesano, Shelby Miller, Cairo 7 News.